say that's quite high sound well give it a go i'm not talking about you have to go and buy branded stuff just give it a go but i thought what about branded stuff are the branded stuff legit or fake now this is what my review is i thought i would go out and buy some gucci yeah you heard it we're rocking the gucci now you're saying Sam, that must have cost a lot of money. In comparison to the real Gucci? Not really. But it was worth the investment. And you can easily go to the customer service and say, look, this is the problem, and they give you money back like that. So it's worth finding out if it's real or fake. Now I've got a couple of samples I just want to show you. And here's my review on them. Now, ooh, Uno. Now it looks pretty nice. It's quite baggy on the back. I mean, it depends how big you want it. You can, of course, make it smaller by bigger, smaller, whichever you like. The smallest it'll probably go is there okay so leaving it on the biggest option i'm just gonna put it on now obviously it looks ridiculous because it's too big for me of course but i mean if you were to buy a gucci hat would you say that that looks nice like if you actually wanted that hat it's way too big for me of course but it looks decent from like afar let's just have a bit of a more closer detailed look so you've got oh the lovely lighting we have so you've got the gg the gucci and you've got the nice embroidered print embossed print at that and the famous red and blue uh, red and green colors You've got the leather piece, the leather piece Gucci there, so that looks legit and of course there, all detailed, so you know you're thinking you're onto a winner, it's even got the little bar, I don't even know what that's called, but bar ball bit in the middle, you know, I always remember at school. Alright, being a kid, especially as a kid, a toddler. Yeah. yeah. But it looks legit. It even ha this one doesn't. Um, the other one does, I'll show you in a minute, but it even has a tag trying to convince you it's made in Italy. Now if you wasn't a die-hard Gucci fan. You would say that that was legit, and you go on the reviews of this particular item, it's flawless. I've not found any bad reviews on it, but the problem is, this is not Gucci. <laughs> the problem is, anything that's Gucci doesn't have a label, for one, that you can actually pull pull apart from the actual fabric like that and sewn on from its ends it's not possible and it doesn't say made in Italy it actually has a proper tag in, I'll see if I can get some pictures for you and put them up here but basically they have a proper tag like sewed into the actual cap telling you about you know the 
heat you can wash etc so I thought you know what that's not even real don't worry I didn't pay for it I got money back I told him it was fake but this one looks even better they even on this one went out of the way to put a Gucci labelled tag on it now like I said if you weren't a die hard fan to be honest out of the two this one is better I, I would go for that the colour on this is basically exact it's beige they sell this exact cap from the original line which I had to research of course because you know not that you know what's the word lavish is that the right word um with spending ridiculous amounts of money on clothing items I've got my nice brands and I'll go to a limit but these cost hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds for one cap now if I was to spend money on a cap I would have to be absolutely in love with it and probably wouldn't spend any more than a hundred pounds maximum and that's even if I wore caps and wanted it so I mean this one I'll try this one on again it's way too big but I mean it looks like a nice cap there's nothing wrong with it it's even got the iconic green and red the colors are perfect but again what lets it down is this Gucci made in Italy they've gone one step further with this one because they've gone Gucci made in Italy and then they've actually like I was saying before telling you how to wash it if you can wash it etc so but it's just not real it's even got the metal stud in the middle <laughs> so but it's not real it's not real now if you know don't know that it's not real or you know that it's fake and you just want something that looks nice and you think you know what that looks decent unless you got up close to it you wouldn't know that it wasn't real Gucci so I bet there's a lot of people that are happy to buy it but for example I'm a big fan of super dry always have been since I can remember being a teenager probably always will be but the point is I can tell the difference between real super dry and fake super dry because I'm a fan of super dry but I wouldn't ever buy fake super dry if that makes sense I've never seen fake super dry I've never bought fake super dry so that's another cattle and fish altogether but being a die hard fan knowing inside that that item you've bought is not real unless someone you see or you know points it out to you would you be comfortable wearing it? like honestly I don't think there's anything wrong with it like I said this one in my opinion is the better cap out of the two but like I said I couldn't wear fake super dry knowing that it's fake for example these pants are super dry these are official super dry from the store and the detail on it on that pocket says it all for super dry so you know that it's real straight away and the quality as well of the actual item is always going to be thicker on the clothing but with these they're quite replicas this one isn't gucci of course this is supreme which is meant to be mixed with louis vuitton now again it's another massive big name in america in london and they've gone quite all out on this one too but i did my research trust me i did my research this cap in real super dry does not exist it doesn't exist this particular version that wish have created doesn't exist anywhere i went through every single website i could find to find this cap and this particular cap is made up it doesn't even exist it, it's a fake look how legit that is it's embossed it's got the perfect logos it's even got 
that at the back. It's got the L and the V. It's got Supreme inside the wording. It's even got a leather effect for the front where your head goes, uh, your forehead goes, and the front of your head. I don't know if you could get any more legit than that. Uh, prove me wrong, please. If you can find this particular cap on Louis Vuitton or Su Supreme, please put a link to the actual website on the comments because it's ridiculous how long I was looking to find this just to see if it was real. And this particular style, yeah, they've done a lot of red cap Supreme, like maybe over a hundred I must have seen because obviously some of the sites don't let you filter just red caps so you literally have to go through pages and pages but yeah must have a couple of hundred potentially not one not one that had this red and the white lettering with this particular light faded slash design of the supreme wording and the supreme logos on top not one. So I'm very interested if you can prove me wrong on that one. But it's from Wish, people. It's not real, it's fake. So I don't know, I just thought I'd do a little review on it to show you how legit the caps actually look and to see what your opinion are on it because it's quite an interesting topic. I quite found it interesting anyway. Like both of the different companies. Gucci versus Supreme Louis Vuitton. I mean, I wish could even got away with it if they really wanted. They've even gone to the finer detail on the cap. Look, I'll tell you what I mean. See if I can get it in the light. I might not even be able to. I don't think I can. But basically, here. Oh, we got it, we got it. See? That finer um, stitched, that was the word I'm looking for, detail in red is on the cap. That is how much in detail they went. And again, it's on the front. There! It's right there! If that's not going to our lens to try and fool people, you tell me what is because that was pretty darn detailed if you ask me. But I don't know. This one looks basically on point. On like moi. But they just completely messed up with the label and the tag. Gucci don't do these tags. They just don't do those tags. So straight away, you know, it's fake. Even though it looks real and all the colours match. The only thing I'd probably say if I didn't know that that was fake to say that it was fake is probably how limp it is at the back. Look how floppy it is. Even caps I've bought in the past are not that floppy and I don't think it's got anything to do with the transit. Maybe it's just slightly thinner material or just the way that they've made it. I have no idea but it's just so floppy. <laughs> no, no. And this one is floppy. Like, who has a cap that does that? If you want to, I don't know, display it on a shelf or something, there's no way that it's going to be that floppy on a shelf. It's just not going to be. And this one is still floppy as well. Look at that. I just don't. No. So, obviously, they are. I'm not gonna lie, they are selling them for quite a decent price. Nothing like real Gucci, but for a cap, in my opinion, it's quite extortionate. And you get your post and packaging on top. Like, for me, it's just ridiculous, considering obviously you know it's fake. So, I just thought I'd do this quick, not really unboxing, but review, and just to say. Sort your life out, Wish. Like, yeah, he do a lot of decent stuff, I ain't gonna deny that. But trying to pass off fake caps is real 
there's so many different things on there, you, seriously, you don't even have to just download it and buy anything, you can literally just download and look, if you've got a spare few minutes in your day and you just want to see what I'm on about, go and download the app because really it's quite funny, like just one more look at them and would you think that they were fake? If you didn't know they were fake or if I'd not told you, they literally look legit. The only thing that, like I said, is a downside for me is this floppiness. Absolute floppiness. And the Supreme one looks quite decent. But again, it's so, it's so limp. So, I don't know. But let me know what you think down in the comments because it's quite like I said quite an interesting subject if you want me to do more reviews from other brands from Wish let me know down in the comments and I'll see what I can do how it's supposed to be because nobody's perfect you need something to work towards that's worth it you need something that's worth more you deserve it find a thing that you that's a wrap I hope you've enjoyed this let me know what your favorite brands are in the comments and I shall catch you later